with the master Mike, who is one of my favorite spin instructors in the whole world. And you know what Thank I like you. about you? What's that? One of the things I like about you? I show up. Yeah, you show up. You don't make me look like an Amazon woman. No. I actually, see, I actually she look short. Shoes. See, I'm it's little. Like a, I'm like only, little thing. Yeah, I'm only this big. She's Whereas when I'm with thing. Bethany, I oh, look so like, yeah. it's ridiculous. Hi, I'm Bethany. <laughs> so what we're here to talk about today, Mike, I'm going to let you take over. Okay. Uh, we want to talk about the rigidity of the bikes that you're on because that's a big issue in terms of body movement. Mm -hmm. um, when I'm outdoors and I'm riding, I don't want to be all over the place because I don't want to waste any energy going laterally. I want my energy to be confined to the frame and because the frames are hollow tube, they flex. And when they flex, that means I'm generating all my power to the rear wheel. But inside of here, our bikes are rigid. They're solid. They're solid, 500 pound machines. Would you show us what you're talking about? Uh, sure, okay. I'd be happy to. This frame, solid steel. There is no torque whatsoever. I don't get to lose energy through my bike frame because it's so solid. This means that on an outdoor bike, when I have a torque allowable frame, I can be quiet when I climb. In here, we don't want that. When you gear up in here, notice how my body starts rocking. What I'm doing in this manner is I'm letting my body relax so my knees, believe it or not, can gain a good balanced stability instead of a rigid stability. I don't want that. I want balanced stability like this. Going up that hill. All right, let's talk about what we do when we stand out of the saddle. Now we've got Kat right here. She's standing up and she's climbing. I want you to notice the difference. As you look at me, this was my motion seated climbing. It was more of an up and back, forward motion. Notice hers is lateral, side to side. Take a look at how relaxed she is. See what's going on? Because of the rigidity of the frame, she's allowing her body a little more movement than we typically would use outdoors. This creates a nice stability of her legs, but a very relaxed, rhythmic feeling as she's using a little bit of her body weight to offset the gravity in the gear. And I'm not putting my weight into the handlebars. I could lift one hand at any time. There you go. Really critical part, keep the weight back. All right, you guys, I hope that helped you. Mike, awesome job. My pleasure, thank you. And if you guys are looking for the most amazing indoor cycling classes out there, make sure you visit Studio Sweat, Sweat on Demand. demand.